This ranking is based on the play score, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening our list of the top 10 HTC Vive games is Project Cars 2. VR may be at a standstill right now, but the HTC Vive is still trying new ways to reinvigorate the virtual reality scene. Opening this list would be Codemasters Realistic Racer. As mentioned, it contains the trifecta of the genre. It's realistic, authentic, and beautiful. The sequel to the gorgeous-looking original, get ready to put the pedal to the metal with graphics so gorgeous and physics so accurate. Note that its driving tends to be pretty stiff due to its highly accurate car handling. For a game tested with real-life race car drivers, it's crafted to perfection. Experience VR racing like never before with a dynamic day and night cycle with weather effects popping out every few minutes. It looks really beautiful on VR. The game has over 180 cars, 35 elite brands, fully licensed and fully approved. It also offers the largest track roster on consoles, totaling to up to 20 fully scanned tracks and 60 venues for a more varied racing experience. It receives a play score of 7.73. Number 9 is Sublevel Zero Redux. Filled with tight spaces and flashy neon lights, this roguelike shooter is almost pixel perfect. Strap your VR gear and engage in a procedurally generated world where reality is falling apart. Take control of your gunship in zero G fashion, use its 6 degrees of freedom to carefully move around its world, loot advanced weapons, and take down hostile threats, filling up your screen. With HTC's gear, feel Sublevel Zero Redux restructured campaign and balanced gameplay design in full form. It has an immersive cockpit view and weaponry exclusive only for the VR. For experienced users who like Descent, this feels like a breeze. But its randomly generated possibilities make it difficult during higher levels due to its permadeath system. Craft materials to power up your gunship and collect blueprints to create the perfect weapon. It is highly recommended to play the game on VR, otherwise you'd lose the game's reality warping touch. It receives a play score of 7.75. Number 8 is Star Trek Bridge Crew Just in time for their newly released Netflix show which garnered critical praise, this VR game takes you to the final frontier. Although it's loosely related to the new TV show, this game is set in an alternate reality between 2009's Star Trek. Lead the USS Aegis in a quest to find a new homeworld for the Vulcans after their planet's destruction. As a captain, command your crew to maneuver different parts of the ship, for multiplayer, each of your friends get to take control of one machine at a time. Order them to repair your engines, or maybe let them shoot using your cannons. Communicate with your friends and they will help accompany you through thick and thin. However, if you want the single-player experience, you have to do things on your own. It's a chore, but it does pay off in the end. Unfortunately, as successful as the franchise is, the game has its fair share of negative reviews due to its obvious cash grab and Ubisoft's suspicious game design. Nonetheless, it's a worthwhile VR experience, especially for the HTC Vive. It receives a play score of 7.76. Number 7 is Everspace. If No Man's Sky was perfected on launch day, then Everspace wouldn't be a thing. This roguelike space exploration game from Rockfish takes you to a vast, procedurally generated cosmos with a fascinating story and well-developed characters with full voice acting. Similar to most exploration games, Players fight, craft, explore, and survive in the enveloping cosmic dark. Go on a challenging journey while scavenging blueprints, meeting new and interesting characters, and maybe, just maybe, find something unexpected. But space isn't always easy. Encounter hostile threats and take them down with your powerful metallic baby. Choose from its three distinct ship types and blast off to the great beyond. Its insane dogfights dazzle when you're on VR. Nominated for Best Design, Graphics, and Indie Game by the German Developer Awards, it's definitely gonna take your breath away with its gorgeous sights. Despite its ambitious takeoff to space, it has its fair share of flaws. It's strictly a single-player experience, which makes it a bummer. But the good thing is, it's all yours. It receives a play score of 8.12. Number 6 is Red Out Enhanced Edition. This vertigo-inducing game is inspired by notable vertigo-inducing legends like Wipeout and F-Zero. Strap in your seatbelts and prepare for a high-speed ride across the game's rich variety of neon-covered tracks, cars, and power-ups. Experience an arcade racer like never before. Set in the near future where humanity has advanced in technology and interstellar travel, 
beat your friends in competitive multiplayer, or simply progress through the game's extensive career mode that spans with over 100 levels and realistic handling. Powered by the Unreal Engine 4, feel every light particle in every direction. It's as uncompromising, fast, tough, and satisfying like its inspirations. Experience the Enhanced Edition by donning your HTC Vive. Feel the rush of its hyperkinetic blaze coming at you every second. Step into its online multiplayer and race against 12 people from around the world or make your own adventure in its career mode. It's one of VR's fastest racing games to date and it kind of reminds us of Star Wars Pod Racing. It receives a play score of 8.14. Number 5 is Arizona Sunshine. A culmination of two great achievements in the world of virtual reality. Arizona Sunshine brings out the best in in-your-face horror and satisfying first-person shooting. Move into the sunnier side of the Arizona deserts and prepare to meet your lovely decaying neighbors. Jump into their story mode where you wake up in the middle of the deserts to search for the source of the hopeful distress signal. With our movement-based weapon tracking system, mowing down zombies is as satisfying as ever. Fend off the rotting appendages with your arsenal of over 25 different weapons and show these ghoulish monsters who's boss. Enjoy the blistering heat of the sun-soaked world and scavenge around for useful items to aid in your escape from the looming apocalypse. If the southwestern environments become too lonely, you're also welcome to bring along a few of your friends to some multiplayer zombie-killing delights. With its realistic weapon controls and unprecedented graphics, it receives a play score of 8.14. Number 4 is Form As a relatively young genre, many VR developers take to experimentation to bring its thriving audiences a taste of something new, whether in highly replayable minigames or in short but thoughtfully engaging releases. Form is an example of the latter. While it only has an hour of content, it offers a master clash in polish and execution as it takes you on a surreal science fiction experience. Step into the shoes of Dr. Devin Eli, working alone in the isolating silence of an Alaskan research facility. With his supernatural powers of geometric visualization, traverse the psychedelic realm of the mysterious obelisk and solve the puzzles to unlock its many secrets. Free of the burden of deaths and time constraints, Form lets you meander around their strange world at your own pace. Dig into every corner, scavenge for clues, and embrace their absorbing atmospheres. With talent and creativity invested into each minute of the game, Form is easily worth the investment. It has a play score of 8.22. Number 3 is The Lab. From one of the most respected studios in video game history, Valve puts on the whimsical top hat to play the Willy Wonka to their science fiction chocolate factory. Trying their hand at virtual reality, they open the doors to the legendary Aperture Science Laboratory, filled not by tortured test subjects and world-dominating AIs, but with the friendlier wonders of interactive minigames. Unsurprisingly, one of the first VR titles to take the world by storm, travel from pocket universe to pocket universe as you discover each of their eight vastly different games that range from the epic to the bizarre. Take care of a bionic canine, repair robots, explore human anatomies, defend castles with archery, become a Zortex ace, unlock secret rooms, and so much more. All the fun and merriment of virtual reality for absolutely free. It's a satisfying sampler that aims to demonstrate the power of the platform. In this world, pretty much everything is a lie, but it's all the better for it. It has a play score of 8.49. Number 2 is Thumper. Atmosphere is what makes a VR game, and Drool's rhythm game definitely has that. Much like the wondrous sights of Res Infinite, this unique take on the genre also takes you on a ride through a dangerous and eerily peaceful world. A mix of violence and music guide a lowly space beetle through a kaleidoscope world of towering monsters and neon-colored spaceways. Released on other platforms, Thumper can be played without virtual reality, but it's one of the games that seem to really benefit from the treatment. Immerse yourself in the sensory experience as you dive into a colorful world filled with the harmonies of heart-thumping beats and breathtaking tranquility. And at the end of every grueling stage, use your perfectly timed beats to send ripples through their highways and into the hearts of their terrifying villains. Thumper manages to turn something simple into something of a spectacle, which is probably why it received almost universal acclaim among critics and game reviewers. It receives a play score of 8.54.
and the best game on the HTC Vive is Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Virtual reality specializes in bringing us to the world of the imaginary, where damage and death are nothing but a digital tick. On the other hand, that doesn't stop the adrenaline from pumping in this explosive little party game from Steel Crate Games. When the timer starts, begin to feel the rush of blood, the dripping sweat, and the onset of panic as you struggle to defuse a ticking time bomb. And all this game really asks is, how good are you at following instructions? Get yourself a team of experts with access to a helpful manual and let them guide you through the bomb's intricate set of puzzles. The only twist is, you can't see the manual and they can't see the bomb. With a randomized selection every time, the fun begins as each of you rely on your skills of language, memory, and coordination to deal with a combustible trial. What kind of wires need to be cut? What curious looking symbol should you press? And what the hell is this supposed to be? Frantic, fun, and utterly addicting, it has a play score of 8.67.